Come on. Top guy in China. You see him? You see him? It's you. Former UK basketball player Randolph Morris is back in the bluegrass working out with operations athletes trainer Ted Butler. Randolph is coming off a slight injury to his knee while playing in China. He needed someone to trust and getting him back to 100%. He really saw what I needed. He assessed the injury and he had it made a game plan. So I basically, he was like, if you trust me, then, you know, I, I'll take care of you. So we got in three months in, I was like, man, Ted, I don't know what I was doing before. I, I worked out with you. I was like, you know, I could have been so much better if I knew you three years ago. He's one of the few I've ever seen that still, you don't even have to like push him. He's gonna push himself more than I can push him. And I try really hard. I will honestly say nine out of 10 times, I'm the motivator, I'm the inspiration, I'm the guy that probably believes in it and wants it more than the athlete I'm training with. Completely not the case with him. Randolph is heading into his eighth season in the CBA, playing for the Beijing Ducks. He's a three-time CBA champion, getting his first one in 2012, follow up with another one in 2014 and 2015. Randolph says he's had success because he didn't treat it like it was the NBA. The guys that, that, that generally do well over there are the guys that go in with no preconceived notions of how it's going to be. If you go over there thinking it's going to be the NBA, you're not going to make it. You have to earn everything you get over there. And I will say this, playing is the easiest part of the season. The off the court life, the food, um, the isolation, um, trying to stay in contact with your family back home becomes a challenge. But if you can do that and you adapt to that, you, it'll be a great experience. Another great experience for him was playing with former NBA star Stefan Mulberry. Mulberry got a bad name in the NBA, but he took his talents to China, teaming up with Randolph Morris and the Beijing Ducks. I've known him when he was the NBA version. Everybody, you know, put this black mark on him, and I've come to know him on the China version. And he got a bad rap in the league. He went over there and reinvented himself in China and became this superstar um, icon. You know, three championships, two statues, uh, one MVP, a uh, museum, uh, key to the city. After his freshman year at Kentucky, Morse declared himself eligible for the 2005 NBA draft. He was not drafted, but because he did not hire an agent, Morse was allowed to return to Kentucky to continue playing college basketball. Morse took advantage of being a free agent and signed a two-year, $1.6 million contract with the Knicks in March in 2007, five days after Kentucky was eliminated from the NCAA tournament. Morse became the first player in history to go from the NCAA to the NBA in the same week. I made a decision like this is going to be the best time, I think, um, to be able to go and help my family because that was always the goal. Always the goal was to you know lighten the load so to speak if i had a chance to go back in time i think i would still do it the same way i think that i would be more mature in how i went about it though i'm Bradley mckee spectrum news